Okay, I've been driving the car around a bit and it's been going okay. Uh, I have noticed on the last drive I took the car to work and the front of the car feels a little strange, almost a, an alignment, uh, something feels loose. I ended up grabbing the wheel. Don't know if you can hear that, but it feels a little loose. So I think the wheel bearing is either shot entirely or the nut that holds that whole hub together is backed off for some reason. So I'm going to pull it apart, take a look at it. The other side feels uh, not as bad, but it's on its way. So it might need new wheel bearings, maybe it just needs to be tightened up. I don't know, I'm going to get in there and figure it out. Bit of a fight to get that off. I don't know the last time these were off, but uh, had to turn the wheel and get a lot more leverage on it. But it looks like it's gonna come now, so that's good. Pull the caliper off and zip tie it up to the suspension. Get a chance to look at this as well. Pads look brand new, that's good. Alright, move on to the hub. Alright. So from what I've seen on the internet, I just gotta pull this cap off and I'll get to see the bearing and the uh, nut that holds the hub on underneath. So uh, apparently the best tool for that is some channel locks. Good. So the nice thing is this pin's still in here. So I thought maybe that was missing was backed up, but I think it just needs to be tightened up. So I pull the cutter pin out and might as well pull it all apart, see what it looks like. That's pretty loose. I was just able to spin it with my hand. It also looks a little mangled up. Um, I'm going to pull it off and see what it all looks like. There's the nut, came off pretty nice, everything looks okay.
There's the bearing. Everything looks and feels okay, so I'm gonna just tighten this back up, put it to what I think is proper tension, and uh, hopefully we're good. Already just hand tight, that feels better, no playing it. So I've heard you're supposed to snug this until it's just kind of snug. It should spring back a little bit. it off anymore the crown nut isn't going to be able to have the cotter pit going so I put it to the old one it's going to be too loose so I'm going to put it to one step forward so you can make out here just the parts of the crown of the crown nut I think I should probably order a new crown nut um, get some new grease and change both sides up for now I'm just going to tighten them up make sure I'm okay there uh, and get back on the road and I'll probably do another episode where I take these all apart, clean the bearings up, repack them, and put it all back together. Uh, but again, I think I'm gonna, just to be safe, order some new crown nuts. Spins nice, it's got no play. I think that should be good. Gonna put it all back together now, and then I'll do the other side. Okay, as it turns out, as I was doing the right side of the car, I'm just tightening up the, uh, the nut that holds the hub on, make sure those bearings are nice and tight. I discovered that the actual play that I was feeling is in the steering, um, in one of the linkages there. You can see when I move it, how much play there is. So that's uh, what was causing the car to feel funny and strange and not kind of track right. So I'm gonna pull that uh, little, Cotter pin out, tighten up that crown nut, and see if that fixes the problem. first uh, make sure that it looks like it'll be a tapered uh, a tapered fit I just want to make sure that that piece is okay
bad feeling that the whole linkage is messed up. Well, that's a bit of bad news. I think I gotta take the whole steering linkage off to get some new parts. Uh, it looks like that bowl joint here is what's actually messed up. So that means I gotta get a new part and uh, do some internet shopping around and find out what I can get. Uh, for now, that's gonna be it. Today ends in defeat. It uh, looks like I need to get a whole new ball joint there. I, I hope I can get one and press it in and out and not have to buy the whole piece. It looks like that would be a nightmare. So no matter what, the whole suspension linkage is going to have to come off, even if it's got to get pressed in. Uh, so I will deal with that maybe next weekend.